Evening folks and welcome to my demonstration of my Seiko Bellmatic. This is the 4006-6010 uh, model which refers to the, the movement is the 4006 and the 6010 is the case type. And I think that dates the watch to 1974 from a little bit of research I've done on the internet. And the clue here is in the name, Bellmatic. It's, uh, it's got an alarm, it's a mechanical watch with an alarm. And how that works is you can see this little red triangle at the top here. Well, this outer chapter ring actually rotates, and that's how you set the alarm. Um, you set it basically to be triggered by the hour hand. So it's not that accurate. Probably to within maybe five minutes you can set the alarm. So um, yeah, just be aware of that limitation of it. Uh, the only watch I know of that you can set the minutes as well, mechanical alarm watch that is, is the Seiko Memomatic. But they're quite a lot more expensive. Um, so I'll demonstrate how that works. So uh, you've got two controls on the watch. You've got the crown and you've got this button here. And to set the time, uh, sorry, to set the alarm time, you pull this the crown out to one click and then you rotate the, uh, the red tip of the red triangle to the time that you want, want it to set the alarm to go off at. And then you press that in. And then this uh, button here, um, you pull it out to basically arm the alarm. So now when the hour hand hits hits the uh, red mark, the alarm will go off. Give or take five minutes, as I say. So I'm just going to pull that all the way out and trigger the alarm. So, yeah, the alarm doesn't sound for that long, does it? As long as the, the spring lasts. And... Um, I'll just press that in there and then you use the crown to wind up the main sp the, the spring for the alarm so the crown doesn't actually wind the watch it winds the alarm the watch itself is automatic so it's powered by a rotor and the movement of the watch so i'm just going to wind it up until it won't wind anymore that will indicate the alarm's fully wound again that's it um so if i do that you'll need it'll go off again and what will happen is the alarm will actually sound um, for about the next half an hour after it's hit the mark. So I'll, I'll demonstrate what I mean by that. So if I just pull that out, actually I'll pull this out first, pull that out and then move it about, yeah, so that's about half, half an hour beyond there and the, the alarm will no longer sound. So basically when you cancel the alarm by pressing that button in, you can't, re you can't arm it again without it going off for about half an hour. But that shouldn't really be a problem. Um, so, but this button has another function, um, so it's used to do the quick set date. So, you press it and uh, it advances the date like that. And to advance the day, um, there's no real quick set function on this, so you pull the uh, crown all the way out and you basically set the day by moving it past midnight. I just want you to go all the way around, all the way around this time. So there, that's tripped over, and then you just wind it backwards until you see see that just moves down a bit, and then springs back up, and then forwards again to about one, just past one o'clock, and then back to that sort of nine thirty time, and then forwards again. So that's how you set the the day, and obviously, I say obviously, how I set I tend to set uh, everything for the day before, and then just wind it on past midnight so that I know it's not going to suddenly change at midday rather than midnight. And then let's just, let, just put the, uh, get that alarm centred at the top there. So yeah, I really like this watch. Um, it's got this beautiful linen dial, which unfortunately has suffered a little bit of corrosion, uh, but the watch was very reasonably priced. And I've been after a Bellmatic for a while. I had one before and it used to gain about a minute a day, so I had to send it back. Um, but this one, I've also been after a stainless steel cased watch with a gold face, so this ticks both those boxes and uh, it's been a real pleasure to wear. Uh, it's quite a thick watch, although it's only uh, 37 millimeters wide, um, but it is um, like my uh, 6139 Seiko Pogue. It's a beautifully made watch and a, a lovely vintage feel to it, so um, I thoroughly recommend one of these watches. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope this has been of help. Cheerio!